Welcome back to hell. <laughs> hell part what is it, six? Uh seven. seven. Part seven. Hell part seven. You get to walk home because Cypher's a jackass. But he has a cool coat, so I'm willing to excuse it. Oh god, not a single wasp bee. How will we ever stand up against it? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I need to uh I need to equip my GF with new abilities or something. So I was gonna say, it sounds like based on like the level progression of this game, at some point that wasp beetle is gonna fuck your shit up. <laughs> no, the wasp beetle is always weak to you, but the wasp beetle gets strong with you. I know, but there's something that's just satisfying about being able to crush things in one blow. <laughs> See this ability card? Yeah. It allows you to turn um, enemies into cards. Ah. Uh. Um, and then you can use that card to get magic. Again, it just seems needlessly complex. It is. It's really needlessly complex. And I loved it because um, when I looked up the tips on how to get better at this game, they were like, oh man, Final Fantasy VIII is easily the best game in the entire series. <laughs> I'm like, so when exactly did you hit your head? Because that doesn't sound right. Um, it's easily the best. What makes you say that? I just did a shit ton of math. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Speaking of which, I need to get some more math. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I have a business to run. <laughs> I'm just gonna take everyone's, all of everyone's uh, spells, so I can make. As long as Pissant is the strongest character, I don't really care. I mean, that's pretty much the way it goes in Final Fantasy games, right? Pretty much. <laughs> Desperate defend <laughs> the Sir de or whatever. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take you away and give you this one because uh, no way. yes um because i'm going to equip you with cherry as well as uh, super isis and give you a whole bunch of let's see what's the highest uh is it fire was yeah but the fire is going to go to the strength stat i think yeah. And magic. Doesn't really matter because I'm not actually using magic. I just needed the HP and strength. Um, so, yeah. If I wanted to, I could draw a whole bunch of cures. And I might do that naturally over time. But, uh, for actually going out of my way to junction them, I'm not going, I'm, I'm not going to draw magic. Um, just... Uh, yeah. I will say this is actually making me want to play like a good Final Fantasy game. I might buy three over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what we might end up doing is like after this, like I I say that after like this playthrough, we we should try and take on a different Final Fantasy game because I love Final Fantasy. It's one of my favorite series. Like, sure, it's got problems, but who doesn't these days? Um, I say I miss and enjoy the Final Fantasy games. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even enjoyed playing 13 to some extent. Yeah. Uh, I just don't like this one. <laughs> I don't like this one either. So I think what we should do is, like, after we're done with this play session, is just play a different Final Fantasy game. Because, again, I love Final Fantasy. Not this one. You think after this session or after we beat this game? You might as well beat the fucker. I mean, yeah. You made me spend six dollars on it. It's true. So. It's true. Yeah, because Lord knows you've never wasted any any money on games that you didn't actually like, ever. I'm trying to think. I'm actually trying to think. Is there a game I bought recently that I didn't like? I don't know, but it seems like just <laughs> how much you talk about how much um, Kylie, You're just like, oh God, you're spending too much money on games. I feel like there's at least something that you would hate. That you got. No, actually, well, I haven't played everything I have. I think that's the issue. Is like, I went through my Steam library the other day. I have like 79 games right now. I think I've beaten four of them. 
Because I'm like, yeah, I was like, man, like, I have so many games to play. I always end up playing Kim Kardashian on my phone. <laughs> or, um... Uh, or, or the Old Republic. The Old Republic, yeah. You play a lot of the Old Republic. I'm just, I'm trying to, like, beat the story mode, but the story mode is so long. Mm. I spent 30 hours on chapter one. There's, like, 11 chapters now. <laughs> and that's on each class. There's eight classes, Mac. That's, like, some even number I can't even do the math on. <laughs> eight classes? Mm -hmm. I thought there were three. No, there are eight classes. Hmm. Yeah, because like there's four on the light and the dark side. There's Jedi Knight, Jedi Consular, Smuggler, and then like I don't know some like Trooper class. Hmm. And then on the other side there's Sith Warrior, Sith Inquisitor, um, Bounty Hunter, and Imperial Agent. All of which have ten, ten chapters of game to complete. Sorry, I was distracted by the fact that people are always insulting my character because of the name we gave him. Like, well, see ya, piss ant! <laughs> well, I actually, think, I actually think that not all of the chapters are, like, specific to your class. Because mm -hmm. I think after chapter, like, three, they're just, like, overall story missions that everyone does. Like, the first three are about your class, specifically. Makes sense. No, I wanted to save! SAVE! I think we did a pretty good job. Except for that one spider robot that got through for some reason. Probably because nobody was blocking it. But let's face it. 300 hours of gameplay per class, which is ridiculous. That's like a ridiculous good. amount of content. That's pretty good, yeah. Good job, Bioware. Bioware, Bioware also always makes quality games. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, my dream job is having a voice acting gig with Bioware. So, Quistus, how yeah. the hell did you get here ahead of us? We walked, what'd you do? You've never run out of work, that's for sure. True. Holy balls, so much to say. Yeah. Okay, so I think I go over here and get into a fight with Cypher or something like that. I think Star Wars The Old Republic, Republic holds the record for like the longest script for an MMO. Hmm, I believe it. And it's 220,000 lines. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and they just added so much more because like their new chapter just came out. Cypher's, Cypher's that that jackass who, like, keeps having to repeat junior year because because he keeps getting into fights with the teachers. <laughs> he keeps and failing he never actually, algebra. Never actually does, yeah, he never actually does any of his homework. It's pretty much Cypher's entire character. And he's not much better in Kingdom Hearts. He's kind of an insufferable twat in Kingdom Hearts. Is he in Kingdom Hearts? Yes, he is. He's in Kingdom Hearts 2. He's like the town bully of um, uh, Twilight Town. Oh, that's right. Is it Twilight Town? I think that's what it's called, yeah. Yeah, Twilight Town, yeah. Man, I need to play Kingdom Hearts again. I don't remember anything about those games. I love Kingdom Hearts. At, l at the very least, I love the first one. The first one is my favorite, is one of my favorite games. After that, though, the story just becomes really, really convoluted, and I just kind of stop. Like, it, 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 like, gets really, really bad. Like, really anime bullshit kind of bad. It's, like, Chain of Memories isn't terrible. I think Chain of Memories has the best story just in, gen in general of all the games. Stand alone. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2, it, it's not awful it get that's when it starts to get bad though yeah um and then and then after that it just <laughs> gone the game you play is roxas um the game you play is um the roxas look-alike was actually not bad in terms of combat wise but story wise it was awful um 
I haven't played the one that came out for the phone that I now have on my PS3. Um, and I'm forgetting one. Oh yeah, the 3DS version. 3DS version sucked ass too. Because the 3DS one, that's when they start um, incorporating time travel of all things. Oh god. And that's the death of any story. Oh god, time travel. All right, so I think I just like talk to everyone. I like this guy. Why isn't he in our party? Don't know. His his shtick is that he ends every sentence with you know, and Fujin's shtick is that she ends every sentence. She just like does one word sentences. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to. I'm, I'm literally just supposed to wait. You gotta talk to everybody. Everyone. There we go. Every single person. <laughs> Look I at Zell's pose. Who thinks like he's about to fucking start a dance, br a dance battle? Well, uh, he is. Look at him. Ba 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 Oh yeah, they call my name. Just step into this room. Yeah, I'm going in the room. Hold on. They just they just called in Zell and Pissant. Why are there four students there? I must know the answer to these questions. Remember, Seed, you'll be dispatched all over the world. Sea sites, kill people. It's be fun. It'll be fine. So yeah, selfie, selfie made it for some reason. Um, I and think then there's this guy. This guy. They actually kind of make fun of him for it. For not for being such a non-entity, which kind of makes me wonder why they have him here in the first place. Like, listen to this. Okay, I'm looking forward to, to the garden festival. That's his message to Selfie because she's orchestrating the thing. His message to this guy is, do your best even if you don't stand out because you're just a random random NPC, so nobody actually gives a shit about you. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Calm the fuck <laughs> down. That's right. <laughs> piss ant. Stop being such a piss ant. Finally, a gun blade specialist. Finally, someone figured out how this thing fucking works. It's about time. We've been using them for 30 fucking years. You'd think at some point we wouldn't have figured it out. Look at that one's fucking prance. He's a pretty little pony. And they're all excited and stuff, and I don't want to talk to them because would you want to associate with Selfie and Zell? No, especially if I was as cool as piss ant. And he swallows his pride and and applause for the for the people who made it. And then in a couple of hours he'll become a bad guy. Because the garden doesn't appreciate his talents. Oh, spoiler warning, the obvious bad guy becomes a bad guy. C rank four! I don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about earlier with the with the timer at the cavern. Uh-huh. Um, if you, like, spend more time, like, what the hell are you doing in my room? Found you! Who the hell said you could come in here? What do I think of what? He just, like, he comes yeah. in. Yeah, your seed uniform. It's the exact same uniform as everyone else. Get the fuck out of my room. He comes in, like, flicks on the light and sees her, and she's like, found you! And he's like, Jesus Christ, he pulls out his gun blade and just shoots her. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it was Selfie. I have no regrets. Look at that fucking cocky pose he has in his new outfit. Oh uh, yeah, look at me. Mm, yeah. Would you he has fuck his, like shoulder cocked down a little bit, like uh Would you fuck me? I'd, I'd fuck, fuck me. me. I'd fuck me hard. <laughs> Kylie just saw that movie for the first time. Oh yeah? A couple months ago. What was her opinion? Uh it's one of her new favorite crime movies. Good. It's a really good movie. It is an excellent movie. 
That music. Bizan's basically doing what I do at every single party, which is just support the wall and drink booze. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, come join the party, man. It's like, hey, guys, listen, like, this wall's gonna collapse if I move. <laughs> Somehow you made it, Zell. Congratulations. Congratulations on the garden's low standards. Put it there, man. Don't do it, Mac. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, You're shit. so broody. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. One day, I will make him depressed. It will be fun. I'm gonna go see ya. Oh god, she's about to come over here. Ask No! She... No! Wanna join the Garden Festival Committee? You can help out whenever you have time, please. Ellipses! Oh man, you're so terrible. <laughs> Why would I do that? Yeah, the FMV. The FMVs in this game actually are pretty nice. Like, especially if you look at other FMVs at the time for PS1. One what? I think she's telling you to hush. Or look up. I don't know what she was trying to say with that. I like how you were just lying about like how good they are compared to other FMVs of the time. And you're just like, oh god, why? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, visually, visually, they're much more impressive. You're the best looking guy here. Uh, duh. Well, duh, can't you see how brooding I am? No, I just don't dance. I literally have two left feet. It's a birth defect. It's a family trait of mine. Uh. Um, Honestly, this, this would creep me out. Probably. Piss it! Call the cops now. That's not surprising. That's what she's gonna say when she stabs you to death in your sleep. <laughs> You're going, going to, to like, like me. me. You're going to like me. <laughs> when she reenacts the scene from Psycho. <laughs> No, you don't understand. I have two left feet and two right hands. It won't work. It'll never work between us. I like how this guy can take down a robot spider. But, <laughs> oh my god, he does have two left feet. I'm telling you, man. And yet, with just a slight adjustment, they become the best goddamn dancers in the entire room. Well, okay. She does. <laughs> they just bust out and start twerking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like her dress. This guy's always like, what the fuck? Man, who is this chick? She just wants to fight everybody. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Now suddenly he knows how to dance. And they're just like, the gosh, gosh darn cutest couple ever. Makes me sick. It does, it really does. People always say, like, this game is so such a great love story between these two. I'm like, it's really, really not. It's really, really not. It's really dumb. I don't think- I have yet to see a Final Fantasy game that's been able to pull off a good romance. With the possible exception of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, Final Fantasy IX? Okay, yeah. I liked- I liked, um, Dagger and Zidane. I mean, Dagger, like, relinquishes her title as princess. Zidane's some crazy, like, monkey from a tube. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! They're literally, like, not meant to be together. <laughs> One of them's not even meant to be alive. They're literally an abomination of science. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> even that dance was perfect. You know, the, the ending part anyway. Everything up until that point was just like complete total train wreck. But that ending part of that dance, that last couple of seconds, oh my god, perfect. You know, really like, I think Final Fantasy IX might actually be like just the best game in terms of like the characters and even the story. Yeah, it's the best in terms of story, characters... Um, I really like their level up system with, um, like, using, using variety, because it lets you use a variety of weapons. Uh-huh. Um, the only thing I would say is that, that, um, Final Fantasy X has the best combat system. Otherwise, I would say Final Fantasy IX has the best qualities of any game. 
of any of the Final Fantasy games. But I mean, like, Vivi's, like, internal struggle? Vivi is my favorite Final Fantasy game, Final Fantasy character. Like, out of all of them, Vivi is my favorite. Even towards the end, you're like, damn, Steiner. Yeah. Steiner's like, even, got emotional even, complexity. Even goddamn Steiner gets a story arc. Even Quina, even, you can empath- empathize with. Even Quina with. does, with his, um... His her. <laughs> his, her struggle to not being able to fit in with their, with their race. And the fact that he loves food. He love they love food, I love food, it's great. Next time on Ubermeet. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll next keep talking about Final <laughs> Fantasy IX, probably. Yeah, next time on Ubermeet, we'll continue to gush about better games while playing this piece of shit. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Zs.